Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I have a quick tutorial for you. I want to show you how to create a quick magnified area for featured images and then small details and things like that that you want to highlight in your product images or images that you're using for your blog or really anything. But this is a pretty quick thing that you can do. I use it a lot for thumbnails and you know smaller images where you're not going to be able to see a lot of the detail of the work. So if you're creating display images for products where you want to show details that are just not going to show up properly in the images, here's a quick way to do that. So what you're looking at right here is a thumbnail that I created for a tutorial I did a while back on leather and suede. And what I want to do is bring attention to this area right here and maybe the text itself. It's not necessary to merge any of this stuff. I have a whole bunch of different layers here. And all I want to do is just highlight this couple of areas. So what I'm going to do is come up to edit and define a pattern. So basically I'm turning this entire image into a pattern. I'm going to click OK. And then once I have that, I can come over to the shapes tool and it can be any shape you like. I like to use the ellipse tool because it looks more like a magnifying glass. And I want to put it over that area right there. Now up here I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the stroke because I'm going to add my own here in a little bit. All right, once I've got that circle in place, I'm going to come and double click right over here on the far right hand side. And I'm going to add a stroke to my circle. So I'm going to come down here and grab the stroke. For the stroke, I'm going to make my size about 10 pixels. I'm going to change the fill type to gradient and I'm just going to choose a gradient that I have here so you can just kind of go through this kind of matches what I already had there so I'm going to go ahead and use that and maybe scale it down a little bit we'll go about 50% on that and I'm going to add a drop shadow to it because I want to separate it from the rest of the image so I'm just going to add that quick drop shadow I'm using uh, this black right here 26 26 26 or dark gray color and my opacity I'll go ahead and leave at 75 and then we can work with the distance and how far I want that I think the way I had it was fine actually I'll go ahead and leave it at 10 and then our size I'll go ahead and leave um, right at 27 maybe I'll take it up to 30 Again, I'm just trying to get the illusion that this is kind of like a magnifying glass and it's hovering over the image, not necessarily right on it. So um, this is going to work out fine. Now what I want to do is come over to pattern and you can see that the pattern is the actual image. So right now it's just kind of going through. And what I want to do here is change the scale of what's inside of the circle. So this is going to stay the same and then this we're going to take up to 200%. So I'm doubling the size of this. And then while I still have this open, I want to just move this around so I can get that in place. So what I'm doing is just kind of giving, I think I might bring that down to 175 just so that I can get both of those stitches in there. And basically what I'm doing is just giving them a more more zoomed in look at what this stitching area looks like. So I'm going to click OK and that's my first circle and I'm going to take that same ellipse. I'm going to press the option key on my keyboard, bring that down, letter V on my keyboard to get my anchors and I'm going to bring this right over the top of um, this leather and suede area right here. Now I know it's showing this pattern inside of there but when I come back in here we'll come back over to the pattern and it's the same pattern so that same picture is going to be in there we can just move this over and figure out where that leather and suede are at and we'll bring this down to 150 a little bit easier to see but you can get uh, from this the grain of the suede and then you're also getting the that embossed treatment that we did here on the leather and suede text. I'm going to actually move these over a little 
So you can see how this is an easy way to bring out the detail in the images. Just to point out specific areas of the image where you want people to focus their attention. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Thanks for watching.